Imagine finding something that you've been searching for for 100 years. Something first predicted by one of the greatest scientists to ever live, but has cost hundreds of millions of pounds to try and find. Well, that's the case today on the 11th of February 2016. After a century of searching, scientists have finally found direct evidence of the elusive gravitational waves. But what are gravitational waves, I hear you cry? Why are they so important? And why has it taken us 100 years to finally see one? Well, gravitational waves are an outcome of Einstein's theory of general relativity. He predicted that any object that is accelerating, such as two black holes spinning around each other, a star exploding, or even just you driving your car down the road, create ripples which alter the shape of the space that they travel through. As gravitational waves pass through any objects, like the Earth, your house, or even you, they actually stretch and squash that object. As a gravitational wave passes through you, it will make you taller and shorter. And as any object that accelerates releases gravitational waves, there are a huge number of them passing through you right now. But you've probably noticed by now that you don't seem to be stretching and squashing all the time. And the reason for this is that gravitational waves are very, very small, typically. In fact, if a gravitational wave passes through you, your height will change by less than the size of an atom. So it's really, really hard to see any difference. And that's the reason why it's taken until today, 100 years after they're first predicted, to first directly detect a gravitational wave. Now, these first gravitational waves were detected by the Large Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory or LIGO as it's also called. And this consists of two large gravitational wave detectors located in the USA. These detectors consist of two long tunnels with a laser in each one. As a gravitational wave passes through the detector, it will make one of the tunnels slightly longer and the other tunnel slightly shorter. Scientists then measure how long it takes for the lasers to travel down each tunnel. If they measure a difference in the laser traveling time, then they know a gravitational wave has passed through it. So LIGO has finally detected gravitational waves, but do we know where they came from? Well, I told you before that gravitational waves are created by any object that's accelerating. The more massive the object, the stronger the gravitational waves. Now, the gravitational waves that LIGO detected must have come from a very large, massive object. Now, there's no way that such a large object could exist down here on Earth, and therefore the gravitational waves that we detected today must have come from an object in space. To work out specifically what object gravitational waves came from, scientists can look at the pattern of the wave itself to work out what objects created it. In this case, the first gravitational waves are believed to have been created when two massive black holes, tens of times larger than our own sun, collided with each other. As the black holes get closer to each other, they begin to spin or orbit around each other. This orbiting is actually an acceleration, which causes them to release gravitational waves. As they get closer and closer, the waves become stronger, until they eventually merge together. At the point just before they merge is when the signal is strongest, making them easy to detect with LIGO detector down here on Earth. So what now for LIGO and gravitational wave detection? Well, this is just the beginning. LIGO is expected to detect several gravitational waves every single year, all from different sources black holes merging with each other, neutron stars and black holes merging, supernova, there's lots of different ways in which gravitational waves can be created and LIGO can detect them. This number will be greatly improved when the European Space Agency mission ELISA, a space satellite detector, launches in the next couple of decades. Several new detectors are also planned to be built down here on Earth, including the Einstein telescope. These detectors will be more sensitive and able to detect different types of gravitational waves. The detection of gravitational waves is just further proof that Einstein's theory of general relativity is correct. However, they have a lot of other uses in astronomy as well. Any object which is dark and which we can't see with normal telescopes, such as black holes or objects that have a lot of dust around them, can't be observed by normal light. However, they might release a lot of gravitational waves which we can detect. Therefore, gravitational waves are a way of studying the invisible part of the universe. So although it's taken us 100 years to detect the first gravitational wave, we can expect a lot more from them in the future. 
They're a great way of understanding the invisible part of the universe and proving that Einstein's theory of general relativity is correct. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out the rest of my channel for some great science videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys all soon.